So as I said, uh, resector timeout is the first thing to play with, with any imaging. And the other parameter that you will always have to play with, that is not an option, always have to play with, is the size of the block. It's a block size. By default, in fast primary parts, it's 120 sectors. So which means that DDI reads every block, every, every time it reads by 120 sectors. So it sent the command read 120 sectors and then wait for each sector timeout, right? If that read sector timeout reached and drive didn't respond within three 300 milliseconds, for instance, then the whole 120 sectors will be skipped at this point uh, because we don't know which sector affects the entire block to, do, to be not read. Because the drive will not return you 10 sectors out of this 120 block, uh, one, 120 sectors, it will still have to read all the sectors within this block and then return you the entire 120. Okay? So that's why this block size, you should be playing with it to try to minimize it as much as possible. And the trade off is that ideally, ideally, from data recovery perspective, block of one sector would be ideal. Why? Because then we will get every single block. We localize bad sectors without skipping good sectors out of this block, right? But the, but the trade-off speed. So if you set block size to one sector, you will get size something like, uh, speed something like, I don't know, less than one megabyte per second. So we, you will wait forever. So this is why you have to play the, with this block size in such a way that you are trying to minimize it as much as possible, we still have an acceptable uh, imaging speed. Okay? So once again, just, just, to, just to reiterate, two most important parameters to play with, always with any, uh, any, any imaging, any drive. One is read sector timeout, and the trade-off with safety speed, or retrieving more data, right? So the more you wait, the more data you're retrieving, but, you're, but the stress on the drive is quite high, okay? So it's not, it's not safe, because the drive may die on you during the imaging process, which happens all the time, unfortunately, right? So that's why we don't want to wait too much, right? So, but we cannot set it too, too low, because then in this case, you may get all the yellow blocks. So that's why you're playing with it, so it would be safe enough, but you're still getting more green stuff. And, 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 and uh, from safety perspective, I should say that um, the more sound drive has, like unusual sound create, the more stress it has. It's, it's simple like that. So during the, all those resets, yellow blocks, you will see when a drive is doing something, whatever. Right? Any, any crazy sounds. So the more sound you hear, the more stress the drive has. Right? So, so that's why it's also to play with so that you kind of skipping acceptable number of blocks and getting green stuff without having too much stress on the drive. Okay? So read sector timeout and block size. Now, uh, that's, uh, that, 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 that's really the entire presentation. Now I will go to DDI. Uh, 